and we're going. All right, welcome on in, folks. For those who do not know, my name is Guest, also known as It's Guest Gaming here on YouTube, and today, this is another one of the one take series. We're gonna take a quick look. This is really kind of geared towards the early game. I apologize in advance for my late gamers, but in case you do not know, you came to the right place for those who do not know. We're gonna talk about laurels and the best way to utilize your laurels in the store. <sighs> this one is subject to change. I'll show you why. Let's head on over and let's get this timer started. Do I have it maximized? Did I did I, clo I close the timer window? Because I'm so ready for this. Like I said, I got one take, I got one shot. As it loads on up. There we go, three, two, one. Timer starting. All right, let's talk laurels. So you get your laurels from doing your dailies, which is why you do your dailies. Everybody in your alliance, most important. If you're not in an active alliance, please go find one. I cannot stress the importance of that, especially now with Rift Raids being something of importance to say the minimum when it comes to your resources i'm gonna highly recommend get into an active alliance if you're looking for a new one we also have them in the land of dragons as well at <clears throat> excuse me as well as the land of supers so you can head on over into our discord take a look in the links down below now if you're going to uh, obtain all of these resources you got to know where to utilize them in the laurel store there's a couple of different approaches in which you can go whether you're super early game or super late game if you're super early game, obviously you're looking for as many characters as possible. So the Alliance Crystals, which give you an, a chance to get, if you take a look in your shards, you get specifically, well, I can't see it in mine because once again, I'm so prepared for this. <laughs> we have Donald and Goofy. As you see here, you can get one, one shard or 10 shards, if you will, of Donald or Goofy from, the, from these uh, laurels. And I'm just going to say no. Just don't, these first two are an absolute waste in every possible way, shape, and form. For love of everything, don't do it. Uh, but the Alliance Crystal Shard is a maybe, specifically for Donald Duck. Now, unfortunately, at this current time of recording, this is October 2022, and the Alliance Crystal Shard very heavily favors Goofy. So the amount of times you get Goofy versus Donald and Goofy's not anywhere close to a good enough character, as we talked about in another one of these episodes where I think Goofy needs an absolute rework. Until Goofy gets a rework and is worth something more, using the resource here to get him and maybe Donald is really, unfortunately, a mistake. I would not do it. I would not recommend the Alliance Crystal Shards at this current time because Donald Duck doesn't do enough as, as a tank. Meanwhile, I could go ahead and use Maui if I want an offensive tank in a seafaring tower who I can get from stellar crystals. So I'm not going to push hard on Donald, even though he is a very, very good tune. If you want to go all in and you love Donald, like I do, I absolutely love Donald. I mean, I have Donald stuff everywhere. I mean, I even got Donald stuff for my birthday. I'm not even kidding. And I look, he's great. Don't get him. Uh, let's take a look at the actual resources. You have orbs, gold, diamonds and universals in regards to the universal modes you get these through a couple of different ways in the game anyway and yes there is a little bit more of a moat crunch now since they have been removed from dangerous dungeons so i can understand people being really intrigued by these but for the cost of them, they're actually not a very good cost, so I'm gonna not recommend them, unless if you're like just barely short on upgrading a guardian to get a certain level upgrade for an achievement in a limited time event, you know, like th that kind of weird scenario, I'd stay away from these. But they're there if you absolutely need them. The orbs, I personally pick up the orbs because it's, in my opinion, free orbs for doing your dailies. So it's not a tremendous cost, it's only 1500, you only get 20 or 25, I even forget what it is, but it's worth it because orbs are orbs and free currency is free currency. The amount that it costs for the laurels, in my opinion, justifies it. The gold, never get absolutely awful exchange rate for 400 of those. You can only get 5,000 gold. I mean, no. Tier one diamonds, another one. No, you literally get them everywhere. Just do events, go into the campaign, do literally anything and you're going to receive shards for tier one diamonds. This is just a, a teaser, if you will. Then we get to the here we go. This is what this store, in my opinion, is really about. The tier two, three and four diamonds. And I think it really depends on where you are in your game. If you're super end game, yes, you should be forming only tier four diamonds in here. If you're like me and currently stuck at a tier three uh, funnel, 
then yeah, you're farming the tier three diamonds right now because I'm having a lot of difficulty getting tier three diamonds because of how the currencies have uh, changed and exchange, exchanged with the changes to both dangerous dungeons and the implementation of the rewards for Rift Raids. Tier 3 is now becoming a bottleneck for a lot of players, so I can justify Tier 3 personally, and I would recommend it for many others. Tier 4, that's another conversation, probably for another video. Tier 2, very rare circumstances. Maybe if you're super early on in the game, like your first month or two, and you're looking to build up a couple characters, I can see using your laurels as long as you're in an active alliance. But number one and number two targets, interchangeably, depending on what you need, hands down, are going to be the Tier 3 and Tier 4 Diamond Shards. There's the timer. Yes, we did it. Five minutes, that's how you take a look at your laurels. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, inquiries, song lyrics, please do not be afraid to head on over to the live stream and join us to ask any of those convers uh, any of those questions and we'll have a conversation live. For those who do not know, my name is Guest, also known as It's Guest Gaming here, and I look forward to seeing you once again here on the guest list. Yay! <laughs>